why we do, and you can learn about that and be a part of us. You're on TV. Call 600. Hi, TV. How you guys doing today? Good to see you. We've just been joined by uh, Comcast Channel 17, 730 on a Monday night. Paul Herring, it's good to see you here today. I am so glad to be here. You know, I scooted over and just had a ball. I'm loving this little thing, man. And he literally means scooted, too, because he's got a little hot, black, little hooded thing, and he's just <laughs> flying around the city. He gets 214 miles per I gallon. I spent $20 <laughs> worth of gas in it in the last month and a half. <laughs> 20 bucks. I spent 20 bucks a minute. <laughs> okay. But that's that's all right, Paul. That's great. You just be safe on that round. I will. You yes. Just be safe. And Paul also bought one of those, uh, two of them, for your kids at college as well. Yeah, I'm going to lose mine come fall. Oh, but. okay. All right. But anyway, that's, uh, they can use it there all year long, I understand, according to the way MSU keeps the sidewalks and such areas, roads, real nice and clean. And that's great. Back to International Academy. Remember, we have that diagnostic test. We want to test your child, put them in their grade appropriate. We do not want to put them in a grade where they will not succeed, and we never do that. That would be a disservice to the parent and, most importantly, to that little child of yours, or big child, as the case may be. 600-5000, the number to call to get a hold of us at school. 600-5000, easiest number in the world. 600-5000, please call. Even if you call today, uh, the Message machine will take your voice, but we'd love to talk to you on Monday. Okay, call 7.30, 8 o'clock, 8.30, whenever you want to call, and we'll set up this test for you. And please do call 605,000, kindergarten through grade 12, rated, rated by Bridge Magazine, the very best school in Genesee County based upon a value-added matrix, which I can express at some other time with you, rated the number one school in Genesee County, and that's a fact. Number 12 in the state of Michigan. And remember folks, here's one of the things that folks go woo about when we say we will not graduate a student from our school unless they've been accepted by a college prior to graduation. That's all that we do there is prepare kids for college I mean, all the way kindergarten through grade 12. And of course we have athletic programs and a variety of other things that we'll talk about perhaps at a later date. And now let's move into the fine gentleman on my immediate right. Clarence, that's you. Tell us the, the other half of your name. Hello, Art. Uh, <laughs> my last name is Campbell. Hey, one outstanding. <laughs> Any related relation to Glenn? Well, I have a brother named Glenn, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, he's not the uh, very wealthy former country music star. Well, Glenn, Glenn has so, done well. He's yeah. got a great voice and deservedly yeah. so. Two three nine five seven three three. The number to call. We're going to talk now about some special event coming up towards the end of July about Franklin Avenue, North Franklin. Clarence, tell us what you got going, who's going to join you, the dimension of the program. Talk about all that before we bring on our great friends from Local 598 and a very special event that they're going to host on the, what, tell me, date? July 20th. 20th, July, oh, that's on a Monday. Sunday. Sunday. That's on a Sunday. Sunday that's July right, because we're sending kids to camp on, it, mm -hmm. on the train. So get your pens and pencil handy. And again, the number to call if you want to talk to Clarence or our union friends, 239-5733. Clarence Campbell, talk about North Franklin. Well, um, as you know, Art, I have an organization I started last year called Power of One, Fight Against Blight. And we will be having a North Franklin Corridor Revitalization Project July 23rd through the 25th and we actually have a number of groups already offering to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, one group actually from out of state who comes to Flint just to do these kind of activities. Mm -hmm. um, the North Franklin Corridor is a much traveled route on Flint's east side and we're going to be working on that from Leith Street to Davison. It's about a mile stretch. Mm -hmm. We're going to mow the grass, uh, clean up the collapsed building bricks that have mm -hmm. uh, oozed out onto the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. We're going to paint up some graffiti and do some facelifts to the mm -hmm. vacant buildings there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to try to give it a much needed uh, overhaul and facelift. Mention if you could, sir, some of the groups that might be joining you by name. Give them a little bit of applause. Okay, well, mm -hmm. um, Holy Cross out of Indiana um, sends I think they said between 50 and 100 teenagers to Flint once a year uh, to do uh, service type uh, mm -hmm. ministry. And we're going to have uh, a group of them uh, 23rd, uh, 24th and 25th. 
Uh, we also have uh, folks from Genesee County Land Bank who are providing equipment to help move some of the uh, larger the bricks and the collapsed blocks and mm -hmm. stuff around town. Uh, we have Cities of Service who are helping to fund uh, some of that heavy equipment. Um, and then we're working through Flint Neighborhoods United to get as many uh, of the neighborhood groups around the city of Flint involved. It's a strictly volunteer basis, so we don't know who's going to show up. We just hope a lot of bodies mm -hmm. do. Okay, well, let's put an appeal in. Um, folks, if you'd like, if you even live in the area, you don't need to live in the area to help. We volunteer all the time, everywhere, anyway. So, yeah, if you would like to, uh, Clarence, let's give them a number. We're going to give a number of want to volunteer that day. Suppose you got some high school kids in the summer need some volunteer hours uh, to come up for the Na uh, uh, National Law Society or such. Uh, let's give them a number. Let's give it now, and then in about a minute or so, we'll re-give it for those that might want to join us on that weekend, on the days of the 23rd. 24th, and now you've extended the 25th, which right. I did not know. That's a brand new one. Right. 20, that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now. Yes. We extended it to the 25th just to tie up any loose ends that might not get taken care of. Okay. Shoot um, that number to him, sir. The phone number is 853-2794. It's right here locally, 810. Yes. Repeat again, please, sir. 853-2794. They can also reach me by email at fightagainstblight at gmail.com. Okay. And we'll give that again in a moment. But you said the power of one. Now, that doesn't mean you alone, does it? Explain well, your title to this organization. Power of one started out as just me, but the philosophy behind it is that one person can make a difference, and every one person that gets involved can make a bigger difference. And if we can act as one, fighting blight around the city, I believe we can knock it out. That's right. Well, there's a five-year plan to remove blight in the city of Flint, and we've attended one of the first sessions over at G-Card Building. There, in each of the nine wards, there's a presentation in your ward. Hours at International Academy of Flint will be on the 31st day of this month, 31st of July, 5:30, and the presentation is by uh, the land bank. The mayor will be there, and other assorted folks dealing with this major issue that faces Flint. And of course, on South Saginaw Street, we. We play a little role in that as, as well, meaning our kids, our family, our neighborhood residents, we're doing what we can to fight blight. In fact, this past weekend we put 11 murals up. We now have about 16 up on, on the, near Applegate Chevrolet. I wish you'd drive by and take a peek at them. I saw those. Yeah. They look very nice. Not bad. I painted every one myself uh -huh. with a toothbrush. Can uh -huh. you believe that? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, mercy. Nobody not, ever believes me. Audience, me. nobody ever believes me. But anyway, that was courtesy of the University of Michigan Flint, who did the artistry work, and then we uh, kind of did the wood treatment for it and some other things, and put a frame around it to try to accentuate yes. the positive. Stands out very well. Thank I you. would like to encourage uh, volunteers that come for this project to bring, uh, if you have a push mower or a garden rake or a leaf rake, uh, any kind of yard yeah. working equipment you have, bring it, we'll put it to use. Now, are gloves being supplied, garbage bags? Gloves are provided, garbage bags, leaf bags. Okay. Uh, those things are provided, but if you have a rake, it'd be mm -hmm. good for you to bring it because uh, we need as many of those right. as we can uh, get. Let's say one important thing so the residents of that area know, once that stuff's collected, it's not going to sit on the curb, is it, partner? No, sir. Uh, Explain we, that process. What happens is that uh, refuse, whether it's leaves or trash, uh, will be picked up by Republic Services uh, because it gets put in front of residences that have garbage service. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't leave uh, bags in front of abandoned or vacated buildings right. because uh, they don't have garbage service. Right. So those right. of us uh, heading this up will... Uh, take a lot of the bags home to my own house. Okay. Name a couple of your people helping you, just if they might be listening. Do well, I have you? Mark Smith. You I've know Mark that, Smith. I've heard of that Yeah, rascal. you heard of that rascal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he works closely with me almost every day in Power of One. I um, also have um, Chris Zuwala is a oh, sure. good another friend of good mine. I'm sure he'll show there. up. No yeah, he's another one, East Sider. Yeah. He's a uh, Potter Longway Neighborhood yep. Association president. I'm sure he'll be there. And uh, my other five folks from Flint Neighborhoods United. Okay, very good. And you just might see me over there, you know. Yes. Awesome. But on the 24th, you won't, because we have a special event in our neighborhood that will require my full attention that entire day. I see. The how 25th, you yeah, I think you got me, but it'll be at p.m. The 23rd, uh, maybe morning only. 
because of uh, school meetings. I don't know if we gave the time. We're actually uh, working it. from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are meeting at 9 a.m. at St. Mary's Church, 2500 North Franklin in the parking lot. Right, at the intersection of uh, uh, Delaware, Delaware and Franklin. Yep. And we Delaware. will see who we have to work with, and we'll okay. divide into teams, and we will conquer. Okay, so you're going to plant up, fix up, paint up, remove up, trash up, everything up, spruce up, everything good. I would encourage you to drive through North Franklin yeah. Avenue the next week or two, and then come back in three weeks. Yeah. And it'll be a major happen. difference. It'll be a, a brand new facelift. Yes, sure sir. That. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, uh, Clarence, thank you for coming on. We're going to need to talk with our other guests here momentarily. So I want to thank you. You have our full support, naturally. We'll send some folks over to help as well. i got a couple of kids that would be willing, as Great. well as some neighborhood folks would be on there on one of those days. And I'm on there on the 23rd, probably in the morning. And then uh, 24th will be not seeing me, and I can help in the, on the 25th cleanup a little bit. I would like to put in a plug, uh, however, for the 26th of July. Uh, the Genesee County Land Bank will be coming through with their wood chipper. So if you uh, have a vacant house near you or even your own residence, you have some brush laying around mm -hmm. still from the storm this winter. Uh, if we can get your address, we can make sure that gets chipped up for you on the 26th and if they don't get it that day we're probably going to get them to come back around but that 853-2794 yeah, number uh, yep. give that a call or fight against blight at gmail.com with an email okay. with your address of where that brush is and we'll see if it gets cleaned up okay. and if Mark Smith is listening we thank you Mark for helping Clarence so well and uh, we thank you again for sitting in this morning, sir. Keep Appreciate doing good the opportunity. For the city of Flint. Keep thank doing you. good things, Bart. You too. Uh, every now and then. We yeah, yeah I've seen your something. calendar. You're a pretty busy fellow. <laughs> we keep working. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Clarence. God good bless. To see you, my friend. I'll shake your hand as we depart. Smile at the camera. Hey, Hi. cheese. Hi, Mom. <laughs> there you go. Get out I wish here, Mom could see me. She's looking down from I, above. I, I, think. I truly believe that is actually happening, sir. And uh, thank you for your service. Thank you. 598, get on over here, my friends. We're going to spend the rest of the day with you. And here comes Mr. Neely and uh, the distinguished Mr. McCam McCamey. McCamey, yes. Mr. McCamey, very good. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, sir. And we've shaken your hand, too. We'll get on TV so folks know we're good friends. Good morning. <laughs> hi, folks. Hi, folks. Well, 598, one of the better known locals in all of America, I'm almost sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so pleased you're with us today. Uh, I was contacted by one of our mutual friends to see if we could get you on the air. We need to pick up your mics, too, folks, because it won't, oh, it won't okay. pick up well down there. And, uh, of course, the event we mentioned a little bit, please, in detail. Folks, also get your pen and pencil handy. You can have a whale of a time on the 20th of uh, this month, which is just, well, it's next, next Friday, actually. No, next Sunday. Next Sunday. Sunday. So, next Sunday. Uh, so this will be a great <clears throat> event. I remember, last year, folks, I wasn't kidding, 4,000 people attended. Where and what it's about, please, someone. Thanks, Art. You Thanks for having us. Oh, on absolutely. Today. This is a great event. Um, I'm Bob McCamey again. This is Leonard Neely, and yeah. we're uh, UAW Local 598 Work Family Reps slash EAPs, and we're also a member of a group called the Most Group, M O S T Group. And originally, Most stood for maintaining and organizing sobriety together, but uh, in the last year, we've changed it to maintaining and organizing support together. And, you know, this is our 20th year putting on this picnic art. Oh, my goodness. And uh, we're looking forward to having a good time. Uh, we thank the leadership at uh, Flint Assembly, both uh, uh, the management leadership right. and the UAW leadership. And this year, the highlight of our day, among many of our events, is our dunk tank. And this year, we have our UAW Local 598 Chairman Barry Campbell against the labor relations, head of labor relations at the plant, Mike Month. And we're selling raffle tickets right now to dunk those guys. And if you get them before the event, they're six for a buck. And if you get them the day of the event, they're three for a buck. Okay. So we're really looking forward to having a good time with that. And among the other things that we do that day are we have a 16-team softball tournament for adults. We have a Euchre tournament for adults. Now, are all of those teams part of the union, or can another team come in, or how, how, did, how is that work, working out? Well, basically, they're from other 
other groups such as uh, Treatments Odyssey House, uh, Allen Oak Club here in Flint. That's Mr. Neely talking. And uh, what they do is, you know, we have a team tournament of people, uh, different different agencies that put together teams okay. to apply into this tournament. There will be trophies, first, okay. first and second place trophies. First place uh, trophies will give, be given to all the players on one team, and then the second place okay. trophy is a team trophy. All right. Now, um, if you got if you got softball, I, I've been to the fields. I know where, where they're at. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give that address so folks know where they can? Are the coming to the games you pay? Is there admission? No, there's no admission okay. for uh, watching the games or to get into the event. Um, the games will start at 7 a.m. that morning. Oh my goodness! And uh, we've been fortunate That's that like, breakfast ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like Leonard said, they'll run all day. Um, Many, many families come out to watch their I their loved ones play. We've even had uh, teams from all over the state get involved. Yeah. And what what's spread around for little children? You have know, bounce houses and stuff. I'm I'm guessing all that is there or not. We have a we have a bounce house for little kids. We have a a little train ride with barrels. It's called Raleigh's Trolley. <laughs> we have uh, pure pro wrestling for the third year. Is come out and put on uh, two different wrestling shows for us. Is this outside? It's all outside at the Union City Ball Field at 4151 Torrey Road. That's if you were... Intersection of Hempville, right? No, uh, Bristol and Torrey, Bris between Bristol and Torrey and Maple and Torrey. Right. Maple, that's So right. right in back of the airport, um, Torrey Road. Right. Um, so it's not on the ball fields right by... It's right on the ball fields, right on Torrey Road. Torrey Road. So if you were going west on Bristol Road and made a left on Torrey Road, it would be just down, the ball fields would be just down on the left. Uh, we also okay. have a, 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 a magician there, Robert, Z Robert Zarens is going to be there for the 15th year in a row as our magic act. Okay. Does a great job. Um, we have had a ton of uh, people come out and help with uh, kids' games. And for a box lunch, you for a dollar mm -hmm. for a box lunch, you get a hot dog, a pop, a bag of chips, and an ice cream, all okay. for a dollar. Wow, that's a deal. Mm -hmm. and nobody's making money on that one, sir. No, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a trout pond, and for a dollar, a kid can catch a fish. Leonard, I'll let Leonard tell a little well, bit about this. Kid can catch a fish, you know, and, and they're gonna. We have people off to the side after he catches his fish. They can have it clean. They're gonna have it tagged. So if the kid wants to go and play other in other places yeah. around uh, Silverfest, they can play around Silverfest and come back and pick that fish yeah. up. But what's so new that's been going on for the last couple of years already is that we've been placing, they're going to have uh, different prizes placed into some of these trouts that they catch. So okay. if they catch the lucky trout, okay. they'll get a free fishing pole. Fishing pole with oh, the whole, yeah, that's, that's, the that's whole you know, idea. with the whole yeah. bait, not the bait, but the, uh, like a fishing pole yeah. set for, you know, just individually for kids. This is kids only. Kids only. Clarence, you can't go over there, buddy. I'm a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> now, the event, uh, its purpose is Soberfest. So, why don't you talk a little bit about the concept there, if you don't mind, one of you, please? The event started as having an event uh, that was alcohol and drug free, a place where families could go and have a good time without alcohol and other drugs. And it's just a good way to show the whole community that you can have a good time and that rather than go to a Oktoberfest or yeah. you know, something where there's a beer tent, there's a food tent and kids games and a horseshoe tournament for adults and a euchre tournament for adults and everybody has a great time. Al Sarah's going to bring some cars out that day. Uh, we're going to have a junk car out there supplied by Tiger Automotive. Oh, because a couple of you looked at me when you said junk car, so I wonder. <laughs> no. you know, I, I drive a truck, it's called Rusty Red. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it from there. <laughs> You know, we'd also like to invite the International Academy to come out and have a table, display what they do, and fight for blight as yeah, well. That's, that's a great Two great idea. causes for uh, the community, and we'd love to have you guys oh, come out there. Great. The 
set up what you do, display, give you some I'll exposure. You, that's, I'll, uh, if you have more of those, I'd certainly be, we have, still have a couple mm -hmm. weeks of summer school and put them on the counter, mm -hmm. but have a table. That's very interesting. I might give that some serious thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a great offer. Mm -hmm. Super. And also, our, you yes, know, sir. if you got any students that want to come out there, they can be credited for community service. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, like they need to get something signed or whatever, we'll vouch okay. for it and uh, we'll sign it and it, they'll be credited for community service. Right. That's, That's a, a good point. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. good point. And it yeah. applies to anybody, of course, right. not just our kids. But right. Yeah, now, anybody any, any kids that's that come out there and want to participate with us and help us, you know, and help us out, which we do have a few kids that come out and help us. It's just okay. like a community thing. We've made this enlarge into, yeah, you know, in the community. So, 4,000 of anything. That, that's an immense number. Folks, if you've got questions, call us right now. you got the two pros here. 239-5733. Candace will answer that phone. She'll just grin you to death and you can be right on our program. Come on, folks. Call live. 239-5733. We'd love to have you do that. Question these gentlemen and better than that, attend the program. And uh, Clarence, here, we're going to have you pop over. We had a call, I guess, and uh, I, I couldn't read it because I want to keep talking, but we'll have uh, whoever called in, we're going to have Clarence answer that uh, question, whatever it would be, in a moment. Yeah, now, gentlemen, this program started out as um, just for folks that were having um, sobriety issues, be it drugs or be it alcohol, but I think you've expanded well beyond that into 20 years to involve really the whole neighborhood and the whole school, the whole city, anybody that wants to come, thousands of people. And so any of the, any money generated goes into the Soberfest program or what, what, what happens to the dollars raised? We, we use the money to put back into the program and also all the money to, that is raised by the dunk tag this year will go towards food baskets. Oh, and wow. Every oh, year great. at the holidays, Leonard and I and the other most group members, we stand out at the gates at uh, the truck plant and shake cans and say, food baskets for the needy, yeah. holiday okay. food baskets. And then everyone under the Flint Assembly umbrella is eligible to put in an employer request form for a food basket. And then we, last year we were able to give out 257 food baskets. Mm -hmm. And this year we'd like to make 300. Oh, sure. And wonderful. we've been blessed to have uh, Barry Campbell and Mike Month uh, probably make that uh, possible this year. And Well, I tell you what, we're on uh, throughout the year. We'll be around that. When, when do you start that? that October. Uh, okay, we're on. Come on back. Will you do that? And then sure. we'll hit the audience and particularly those who work at, at the plants to remind them. That'd be great. But we'd like to promote that because that helps people. So we want to want to do that, gentlemen. That'll be great because also you know once once we start that whole generation of like Bob was discussing mm -hmm. with you about raising the money for it. I mean it goes right to that and then we go through a process through our own plant. We we do take phone calls for okay. people requesting somebody, but we have to take care of the employees in there sure. first it's going to get sure. one Understood. but they're for the people that's in need not for the people that's in need you know and it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a difference between that you know and we try to give them to the people that's really in need and, you know yeah. we've been doing this for some odd like 15 some odd years out of the 20 we've been doing mm -hmm. sober fest and it's been a very i mean it's very it's a very experiencing thing to see mm -hmm. a family get something for nothing, of you course. know, and you know, with what's going on here in the city and throughout the state of Michigan, you know, it's been it's been mm -hmm. some hard times, but it's great to put smiles on families' mm -hmm. faces with something that's something that's really in it that people are in need. Yeah, after we can join you in that effort because we give away we have a food distribution at our school usually once a month. We haven't had one in July, and I got to get on the ball. But we do that consistently. We feed over six hundred Thanksgiving dinner. If you ever want to be a part of that. And this wow, year we're having a great. Christmas dinner as well. Maybe that's another thing you we can send promote. Send the buses around and the whole thing. At your yeah. table at the Soberfest. We would do that, sir. We would yeah. do that. Now, I'm going to read a number here. The call, Paul, you took it, right? Candace took it? Okay, I'm going to try to read her writing. I think I'll hold it upside down. It makes more sense. <laughs> Hi, baby. Bubba loves you. Bubba loves you. Okay. <laughs> the number to call, uh, repeat the number for Land Bank, probably for the your brush, program. For I think brush. that's the money. Here the it brush. is now. Here it comes, folks. Of course, it's 810. You will all know that. And this is Clarence's number, 853-2794. Repeating. 853-2794. You'll get Clarence. 
or his answering machine if the cell phone is off. Okay, and he will give you a guide and direction. And Clarence, I'm hoping you get 28,000 people. Paul, you got another note? You know, this person is trying to direct remotely. So. Okay, all right. You're leaving this your special says, Art, notes. I love you very much. You are oh, this was, Paul, that was for you. I see. It says okay. it bring milk home for the baby or something. <laughs> well, we got to repeat all the Soberfest information. That's what this one says. So somebody grab that. And so do you guys know who that is calling in? Uh, no, but we're more than happy to repeat it. Uh, the Soberfest is on July 20th between 8 and 5 at 4151 Torrey Road mm -hmm. at the Union City Ball Field. It'll be all day. Um, some of the main activities include the dunk tank for kids, which features our chairman, Barry Campbell, against our uh, labor rep, Mike Month. We also have a box mm -hmm. lunch for a dollar that includes a hot dog, a pop, a bag of chips, and an ice cream, a trout pond where you can catch a, a trout for a dollar and someone will clean it, a magic show, a wrestling show, uh, face painting, a yoga tournament, a horseshoe tournament. Okay, a lot of stuff. It just dawned on me. Well, you know, I was confusing the ball field right near the, the Union Hall on Hemphill, and oh. that's the one that I first thought of. Then it hit me. Oh, You're on the big turn. You're on the big turn there, yeah. right by the What's airport. The I know where that is. That's a great spot. That's yeah. a great spot. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you, caller. I hope you got all that. Was there a number you should give for for somebody oh, yes, to call you guys? Yes, that's a great idea. Eight one zero. Two three six six eight three four. Okay, let's let's. They may have missed that. Let's pause about thirty seconds, and then we'll give them uh, that. Repeat that number mm -hmm. so they can grab something. Write down with that. Paul's given me the the two finger minute to go here, so we'll probably have to close off very shortly. Clarence, thank you for uh, appearing, and the number for Clarence again was eight five three two seven nine four to help clean up and uh, rejuvenate. Franklin Avenue from Leith Street to, no, from Davison to Leith Street. Okay, got it. And now we have the number of the Soberfest. Here it comes, Mr. Neely. Repeat, the number is 236-6834. Okay, and that's for magic, softball, almost free meals and catch a fish and no, imagine, well, everything else. So that's a great event to draw 4,000 people. And now no, we sir, have to close, ladies there. and gentlemen. And we usually do this in a very strange way. So be prepared, Paul, my well, friends. Paul, are you going to be over here and join us in this? Uh, Remember, folks, if, we got a call? No. Uh, no. No, good. If you are walking your dog, or are you sitting around looking at a blog, or are you just sitting there in a the fog, or are you <laughs> celebrating the letter R? Ridiculously rocky racks of rosy red rutabaggers riding ridiculous ridges of righteous irrelevant rocky and ravenous restorable reusable raucous rattlesnakes risking rampaging restorative rhinoceroses replications of repetitious renditions of radiant rabbits in Rhodesia, Rhode Island, or Ratarachi, Russia. Then look at somebody and say, that is some kind of school. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you're.